The polar bear is a majestic creature. It's very impressive. The power that they have is incredible. Although I have to say that they don't smell very good. <laughs> University of Wyoming professor Marav Ben David has been studying polar bears for years now. From Russia to Alaska, their Arctic habitats are melting under their feet. They hunt on sea ice. Ocean currents and the wind push that ice to the west, away from land masses like Alaska. They always had to walk against the drift to remain in Alaska. Thinning ice doesn't weigh as much, meaning? Now they have to walk more or faster because the ice drift faster. It's like going down an up escalator. It's not a normal action. You expend a lot more effort than if you were going the opposite direction, and you don't get very far. It's a real challenge for female polar bears with cubs. These females, instead of walking faster, they cannot do that because they are limited by the movement rate of the cub. They actually walk more hours. Satellite radio collars were placed on polar bears to track them. Over time, it was discovered bears lost size and body mass, and the population, especially younger cubs and yearlings, has declined. Ben David and the U.S. Geological Survey's latest findings were published in the journal Global Change Biology in June. They were skinnier, yeah. Uh, a lot of them were skinnier. Field biologist you know, Mike Lockhart took part in the research population. and saw the impact of the thinning ice firsthand. The size of the bears is getting smaller and the health of the bears is getting worse. Overall, the trends are pretty, pretty alarming. There are days where I feel sad. Ben David blames excess fossil fuel use for the loss of sea ice. The International Union for Conservation of Nature calls the disappearing ice pack the single largest threat to polar bear survival. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's absolutely heartbreaking. You develop this affinity and attachment, and then to see a lot of this stuff happen is terrible. It's been several years since Ben David and Lockhart saw these animals up close. You all right, big guy? There's no reason, he says, to believe their situation has improved. It's definitely accelerating. You know, I'm afraid to see what, what might be up there. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Laramie, Wyoming.